Okay guys, today is Friday, April 17th. Um, we are finished with another week of distance learning. I think this is technically week four, but we only had half a week, so three and a half weeks of distance learning already. I hope it's going well. Um, I know it's not what we want, but I guess it's better than nothing. So let's go ahead, it's Friday morning, so let's go ahead and say the, uh, the uh, act of contrition. I hope you have either already joined us at 8.30 for School Mass on the Facebook page, um, or you will join us at 8.30. Um, or if it's right around 8.30, hopefully you will pause the video and go ahead and watch. Father Marshall will still be doing Mass, and it will be a live video on the school Facebook page. I think if it's later in the day and you realize you might have missed it, you should be able to go and you can actually watch it um, it just won't be live. Um, so I hope you join us for Mass, and let's go ahead and do the act of contrition. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Angel of, oh, whoops, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I am hardly sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because of your just punishments, but most of all because they offend you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly intend, with the help of your grace, to sin no more and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, suffered and died for us. In his name, my God, have mercy. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, guys, so today, um, for math, we did the review yesterday, so today is a study day. You can be working on IXL. Um, you can just be studying what you have in your book, going back through it. Um, or you can be, if you want to find resources online, there are lots of resources online that you may, that may be able to help you, um, but you should be using today to study for your math test over chapter 10. If you have any questions about anything in after and, uh, chapter 10, then definitely reach out to me this afternoon between 1 and 5, and I can help you out. Um, in reading, you're taking your Phantom Tollbooth quiz over chapters 11 through 20. So, again, there will be no video for math or reading because for reading, you will open up your packet and, whoops, after the first page, you have the Phantom Tollbooth chapters 11 through 20 quiz. Please do not look at it until you're ready to take it. Also, please take it between 1 and 5 this afternoon so that if you have any questions, you can ask me. You are doing this completely on your own. Nobody should be checking it for you. Nobody should be reading over it. You're taking this on your own. If you have any questions, FaceTime or Skype me. And then put it immediately in your wherever you put your work that is finished. It does not get checked or looked over. It is your work, just as if we were in school. It does get checked and looked over, of course, by you. As soon as you're done, make sure you read through it. There are short answer questions. Make sure that you have um, at least three to five sentences for each of these answers. They give you a lot of space because you should be able to fill it. If you need, if you don't have enough space, you can of course use a separate sheet of paper. Again, please use the paper from your clean paper binder, not any of your notebooks. Um, fully answer the questions. Write in complete sentences, watch your grammar, your commas, your verb tenses, um, pronouns now we've learned, all of that. You need to watch out for that because I will be checking. Um, again, three to five sentences each. If you do three sentences and it does not fill this up, then you need to think of more, okay? Because three short sentences is not going to give you a good answer. So make sure you do that. That is on your own. No parents checking, nothing like that. You should be the one self-checking it and then putting it away for me to look at and grade later. Okay, um, you do have a 30-minute reading log to complete over the weekend. <coughs> um, oh, and if you want to, I haven't looked, but I'm usually able to find there is a Phantom Tollbooth movie. It's from like the 60s or 70s. I think I usually find it on Amazon Prime. Um, I'm not sure if it's free. It wasn't free the last two years when I showed it. It could be now. I don't know, but I think I found it on Amazon Prime. Um, and no, it wasn't on Netflix, and I'm not, I don't think it would be on Hulu. You can check, but I'm pretty sure I found it on Amazon Prime. Again, it was not free. 
the last two years, but it wasn't super expensive. It may be free now. I don't know, but definitely check it out. Um, if you watch it, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Normally we would watch it together, but unfortunately we can't. I may go and watch it this weekend myself. Okay, and then for science, we are finishing chapter 11, lesson four, so we're doing the second half today. Um, make sure you watch, there is a video for science, so make sure you watch that and you follow along and you write everything down in your notebook and you're reading along with me. You do have um, independent practice, it is one-sided, and then you have homework, which is the chapter 11, lesson four outline. After you finish all that, we are done with chapter 11, which means the next step is the test, which will be next Wednesday, April 22nd, because Monday will be a study day. Okay, so if you have any questions about any of this, um, please reach out to me between 1 and 5 today. Make sure that you're studying for math. Um, make sure that you are doing your Phantom Toll Booth quiz on your own. No notes, no um, book, no parent help. This is all your work. Okay, if you have any questions, reach out to me later today.